therapies may mean never having to say goodbye. Peter Van Sant explains. Fred always liked to curl up on top of the warm VCR. These days, Fred still rests on the VCR, but he's not as limber as he used to be. Fred is dead, but he lives on in the heart of his master through a freeze-dry process that has left Fred looking lifelike. It's not that different than having a regular cat. You just don't have to feed him, don't have to take him to the vet, don't clean the litter box. Fred's owner says the cat has become the surprise hit at parties. Oh, they'll come in and they'll look at the cat, pet it, say, what's wrong with him? I'll say, he's freeze-dried. They'll say, you're sick. <laughs> Right now, we've got uh, assorted cats, as you can see. Jeff Weber runs Preservation Specialties in St. Petersburg, uh, yeah, Florida, the largest animal freeze-dry operation in the world. His frozen pet shop is nearly full, as animal lovers learn that for a few hundred dollars, they don't have to part with their favorite pets. We create a complete vacuum inside. Uh, the moisture is gradually taken out of the animals until they're 100% dry. No odor, no hair loss. Uh, the animal will last virtually forever. Sweetie, hi, honey. That's my baby. Sweetie died last year, a crushing loss for Steve and Vivian Kosis. But now, freeze-dried Sweetie is back on her bed, and the Kosis family couldn't be happier. We feel that she knows we're talking to her, and uh, we talk to her and everything. She has left, but she hasn't left. At least I can touch her, I can love her, and she's still my little girl. She's not my dog, mm -hmm. my little girl. Mm -hmm. We put a water uh, thing down there for her in case she wants water, and we put her to bed at night. So far, Weber's freeze-dry business has been strictly animalistic, but he's convinced a whole new market of freeze-dried customers is on the horizon. We have had several serious requests, people who want to be freeze-dried when, uh, when they pass on. Weber is sure business will never dry up. There will always be people like the Kosis family, people who never want to say goodbye to their beloved pet. Just our little girl. Peter Van Sant, CBS News, St. Petersburg. We don't make this stuff up. That's the CBS Evening News. Dan Rather, see you tomorrow. Good night.